This newscaster said that 12 year olds were sexting. 12 year olds were sexting. And I guess my reaction was supposed to be, oh no, that is terrible. 12 year olds should not be sexting. But instead, my reaction was, oh no, I should catch up to 12 year olds. <laughs> I'm 31. <laughs> I've never had phone sex. I've never had like actual phone sex. I, I can't do that. I have masturbated while on hold with Bank of America, but that's a different. Uh, yeah, that's a different story. <laughs> I'll send pictures of my tits to guys. That's about where I'll go. I'll just. Do, I'll do. I don't care. Like I don't know why I don't care. Really. Like I'll just. I'm like, hey, you'll, you'll like this, I think. Like, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't care about them, but if you had something that you didn't give a shit about, but it made someone else happy, wouldn't you take a picture of it and send it to them? I don't feel like I would. I just do it, because why not? Who cares, they're still good and, you know, they're still like, they're not expired or whatever, I don't know how you tell. <laughs> but I'll just send pictures of my tits and my friends are like, well, what if it gets on the internet? The big thing is, what if it gets on the internet? I'm like, I don't, I don't care. Maybe I don't care because when I was 18 years old, I did a tremendous amount of slam poetry. <laughs> like an inexcusable, no irony at all. <sighs> Lengthy stretch of slam poetry. And like someone somewhere has it on videotape. If my best friend ran on stage right now was like, oh my God, look what's on the internet of you. Opened a laptop and it was like a hundred pictures of my tits. My first thought would be, oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. It's my tits and not video of me rhyming my ideas. <laughs> It could literally be me, like, asshole, a gabe with a kitten paw in there, like, something horrible. And I'd still be like, but it's not video of me saying Zion, right? <laughs> well, I think it's time to leave you guys with a final joke. Um, you've been wonderful, and I love all of you very much. Let's do this. <laughs> Fucking flashlights, flares. <laughs> nah, I, uh, this is a, a story about the first time I had, and the, really the only time I had, like, phone sexting, you know, where you go back and forth and you say things you're not doing, that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> I was in New York. It was a Friday night, midnight. I was doing what I always did in New York. On a Friday night at midnight, I was watching uh, Battlestar Galactica nude. <laughs> and I got a text message from a gentleman friend of mine. He said, uh, what are you doing right now? I said, I'm just lying here. Just lying here, which apparently is a fucking open door to say whatever you want. <laughs> because he writes back, well, I'm so hard right now. <laughs> yeah, so then I write back, well, my area is also ready. I don't know if that's what you say, that's what I said. Uh, and there was a lot of back and forth, very hot and heavy. He was like, I want to do this and that to you. I said, okie dokie. He said, uh, how about your boobs? I said, they're here. And then he said, uh, I'd like to come in you now. I'm not stupid, I know what that means, right? So I had to like think of a great answer first time out of the gate. I wanted to nail it, right? I'm like, let's go for this, Murph, let's do it, right? Here's what I meant to say. And I say that because I have the iPhone, it's not always right what you intended to. I meant to say, oh God, come in me, yes. Right? Not brilliant, but when I thought of it, I was like, mm-hmm, nailed it. I was very excited. <laughs> Not what I wrote, little mistake, one letter, big difference. I wrote, oh God, come in me, eyes. Come in me, eyes. 
like a fucking freaky pirate. Sort of. All right, come in me eyes. Right in me eyes. No, that's where I like it. Right here in me eyes. Uh, all right, you guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much.